Hi fellow uh, disenchanted LG G4 users. Um, if you're here, you're probably like me, your G4 has got stuck in the boot loop. Um, I've searched, this mine's been boot looping for about four months now. I gave up all hope really, and I stumbled across a video um, of some Asian guy doing a little fix. I, I tried to find it again, I couldn't. Um, so I tried it, and seven days later it still seems to be working. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, and then we'll have a little chat about it afterwards. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Here's my LG G4. So pop it on as you can see, it's working. It didn't work for a good, like I say, four months. Tried every, all the other fixes I could find. So, oh, I've got a WhatsApp message. And so let's see what we did. I took the back off my phone. Quite simple, really. You've probably all done this before, so you can take the battery out. There she goes. So, let's take the battery out, ding, dang, dong. Okay, we've got all these little screws around here. You will need one of these screws, drivers, sorry, and one of these little plastic things to pop stuff open. I'll put a link at the bottom as to where you can get them. They're foam repair tools, they're, they're, you know, the cost is really, really low and you will need a tiny little one of these which is thermal paste and you will need a little bit of plastic but you'll see what I've done with this in a second once I've unscrewed all of these screws now there's quite a, quite a few of them and that's, <laughs> that's actually the wrong screwdriver out of the pack so when you when you buy it you'll see the right one okay here we go so start taking these out I've had these out quite a few times um, because I've tried quite a few different repair methods and none of them worked and you'll see in a second there should be one here but I lost it um, because like, as I said I've had this part many many times and you know I'm quite clumsy so I lost one so let's get these bad boys out I was a bit worried about doing this actually because <laughs> obviously it's taken me this long to get it fixed and I didn't want to do all this, take it apart, and I put it back together, and it doesn't work again. Um, but I think if you find something with these phones that works for people, you should really kind of share it, because the amount of stuff that's out there, there's obviously a lot of people this has affected. A lot of people whose phones don't work. So, you know, share the love, as they say, share the love. Um, I'm not a technical guy, um, and I don't really know how this fix works or what it does. Um, so please, you know, don't ask me any questions about it. I just follow what this guy did, and it worked for me. Okay, so that's all the screws out. I'm gonna get this little tool, and you just need to find a little a bit where you can pop this plastic holder out. I can't even remember where it was now. Just goes to show you how kind of non-technical I am. There you go. So this bit just pops off. Okay, so we've got the back open. So there's all we need to do now. There's one. Oh no, it's not one. One. Where's the other one? Okay, there's at least one little connector here. See these? These are just like push-on pins. So don't be worried about that. Pop that out. Pop this out here, and pop this one out here. So there's three of them in total. One, two, three. Just pop them out. They're uh, pretty hardy, so don't worry about it too much. And after that, the board just lifts out. Okay, so put that to one side for a sec. So here's the board. Okay, now this is a bit where you might start feeling a bit wary because you know it's quite thin and quite uh, feels quite delicate. But okay. But worry not, like I say, I've had this open and out loads and loads of times, so um, it's, you know, it's more hardy than you might think. What we need to do now is take this casing off. Again, don't worry, it's not soldered on, you're not going to snap anything, it's just it's just in these little kind of clip housings. Um, and you get this little tool here and just pop it off at the side. Ding, dang, dong. Um, yeah, so, right, so, you might see that this is white. Yours won't be. Yours will be black. That is the CPU. That is where the problem is. 
Apparently, from what I've read, and you may have done as well, there's two chips here, the same size, one piggybacked on top of the other, and the problem being is this overheats and they come apart, and um, obviously that stops stops it getting past the boot thing. So, what I did here, I'll show you. So imagine this, you've got this off, you've got your black chip here, I'll take you through step by step what I did. So, let's go over here to the ironing board. Might freak you out a bit, but if you've watched any other videos or looked up any other advice, you'd see that this is not unusual. So, what I did was I got my iron, put it on full, turn the steam off, make sure you do that, you do not want to be steaming your motherboard. Wait until the iron was full hot, put the tip of the iron onto the CPUs, applied a tiny bit of pressure and held it there for two minutes okay it gets really really hot so be careful whoops see the that's uh, stuck to that that thermal paste so yeah so it gets really really hot so when you pick it up kind of pick it up by this end so it don't hurt your fingers okay then just put it down for a bit uh, let it cool down so then what I did was I got my thermal paste popped the top off, squidged a bit into the middle of the CPU as much as I thought would spread out to cover the chip obviously I kind of misjudged that because it's eked out a bit under the bit of plastic and then what I did was I cut a thin bit of plastic I, I really don't know I can't tell you what type of plastic to use All I, I, and I don't really know what it does I'm, I don't know if it actually does anything or it was just put on there to stop the thermal paste getting everywhere. But it's just a thin bit of plastic. Mine was cut out of a, a, a little box that photographs get delivered in. It's the only thing I could find that was, that was quite you know, small enough. Cut it the same size as a chip, pushed it on, ding, ding, ding. And then uh, that was it. So once you've done that, you want to put this back on. Um, you can see there's little grooves to put it in. It's a bit tricky. And I've actually got it the wrong way around, so you can see I'm no technical wizard, even though I've had this open quite a few times. So, anyway, let's push this bad boy back on. Clip, clip, clip. As you can see, this bulges out a bit now because it's higher than the chip, but this still does clip on fine, so it's no real big problem. So, let's put this back in. That's not the right bit. You'd think after doing this so many times, I'd be uh, I'd be a bit better at this. So you want to turn this back over again, pop it back in the way it came out. Make sure your little clip things are in. Push them in. One, two, three. Okay, so that's good. Get your bit of plastic back on again. Make sure it's the right way up. Clip it in. Again, not too difficult. Right then, the boring bit. Put all the screws back in again, and unlike me, try not to lose any. Da, 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 da. As I said before, guys, I'm not a technical guy, and I don't know what the long-term kind of repercussions of doing this this fix are. I don't know if the chip's likely to overheat or or anything really. So what I'd say is, don't see this as a as a permanent or long-term fix. So I'd say just do it. Um, kind of just to get your phone up and running until you can get yourself something new. Uh, I, I, I feel weary about charging this overnight. I used to phone my char charge my phones overnight because I have to get up early in the morning for work. Um, but I really, I really wouldn't want to leave this running because I don't know what impact that thermal paste would have on the overheating of the CPU. Um, obviously it's not a technical fix and I I'd hate to think that anybody anybody got hurt or anything like that due to uh, kind of following this and charging their phones and they catch fire or melt or whatever. I'm having a bit of a nightmare here with this, this little screw. Um, yes, come on. Yeah, so like I say, guys, just don't don't see this as a permanent fix, you know, you, you know, it's easy once your phone's up and running, you go, yeah, yeah, because it's a great phone, I love this phone, I always did since the day I got it, you know, display's awesome and it looks awesome, and the best thing for me was the camera, which is 
kind of phenomenal really once you're shooting raw and get Lightroom loaded onto your onto your camera you know kind of you know the images you can produce is, is just awesome but um, it's really hard to actually do this and talk at the same time so yeah so be careful guys um, I'm pretty sure by now actually most of you have got rid of your G4s because it's quite an old phone and uh, given up the ghost and thought well there's no point, there's no real point trying to fix it but if you do want to let's try it, so the screws back in at last, sorry it took so long guys uh, battery back in back back on right let's boot this bad boy up and see what happens okay Da, 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 da. This is always the heart and the mouth bit from all the other fixes I've done before. It's kind of you wait to see if it's going to work, and if this doesn't work, then all the work I did do in the first place is just uh, for nothing. So let's see what happens. Okay, guys. So the back's back on. Bada bing. Back to Android. So. Yeah, a minute, you guys can see my code. Let's get away from there. Ding, ding, dong. Okay, so, we're back to Android. Nicely booted, took a little while to be quite honest, so be wary of that when you do it. I'm just gonna pop my code in. Don't want you guys to see. And there we are. We just, uh, ooh, look, three Facebook messages and one WhatsApp in that time. What a popular guy. So. This is what I did, uh, and this is what happened. So, like I say, seven days in, um, still working. Uh, been glitches, as I mentioned earlier on, so you know, don't see this as a permanent fix. Try it, and if it works for you, you know, just let other people know so they can get back to using their uh, using their phones. So, take care, guys. If it does work for you, you know, like the video. Just comment and let share the love, as I said earlier on, and let everybody know about it, and all the best. Take care, guys. See you soon.